My name is Anna Lee. I'm a food stylist. I've done a lot of TV shows and feature films. So I would say we are a combo of prop department and hair and stylist for the food. There's definitely a few simple tips that everyone can apply to their everyday food to make their plate looks better. My personal trick is to apply all your ingredients separately. Usually people mix everything in a big bowl and dump it on the plate. They're not going to be evenly distributed, therefore the color is not pretty on the eye. So what I will do is take out the greens, toss it with just enough dressing. You want the salad to look moist, not dry. I will then add my berries, my nuts. I will also rearrange it so they're not all red on the right hand side. It's evenly distributed. That will make a really balanced, pretty looking salad. You don't see like the camera stew. If we are making a chow mein with broccoli beef, I will look at where the camera is looking at and then I will pull out best looking piece of beef in front of the camera, a little off center so that it's not so staged. I will pull out some good looking broccoli around it. You have to know what you're trying to sell here. You want the best looking piece of whatever to be in the center of your picture. So this is the most important and the oldest trick in the book. With vegetables, I will spray nothing but water on it. It gives you a very fresh and crisp look. And it's simple. With protein, meat, steak, burger patty, I will brush it with oil. You could either use vegetable oil or the fat from cooking. It will create this shine that takes your picture to a whole another appetizing level. I don't like food to look too staged or too artificial. I will add a few drops of water droplet or when I'm doing a cookie, I will uh, sprinkle some of the crumbs around so it, it looks more natural. It's almost inviting people to come grab one. The way I see it, I think you can't go wrong with garnishment. You could drizzle olive oil on your soup, a little cream. You could chop all kinds of herbs to make it look more fun and vivid. I'm suggesting there are a lot of different layer of texture, there are different layer of flavor. Watch a lot of food channels, watch a lot of Instagram. Have fun, you'll get it.